Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Merlin. If you guys are new, welcome. If you guys have been here before, thank you for clicking back on. Today, I'll be doing a Sephora haul, but before I get into that, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you guys will be notified when my next upload. Also, leave a comment down below. Now, let's get into the video. Like I said, today I will be doing a Sephora haul, and this is the bag. I have two bags, as you can see back here. Uh, where is it? Right here. Yeah, I can't get it. Where are you at? I can't reach. There you go. <laughs> um, this is a smaller bag. I recently bought these things, um, so I will sh show you guys that bag in just a sec. But these, this bag here is big. I recently... I fairly had this is fairly new fairly old um these are from these are products that i bought that i never did a support haul on because i just started on youtube thank you guys for those who are a subscriber um so i just recently started my youtube so i never did did a youtube um sephora haul with these with these products so why not do it in this um haul because what I bought in this bag is not as much to do a haul with. So I might as well just combine everything together and just show you guys what I bought. Also, it also gives you guys a, um, a outlook of how I view these products. I've already worn the majority of them. And I can tell you guys how I feel about them as well as, you know, the pros and cons of things. So I'm going to get to my first one. And the first product that I bought is from Huda Beauty. I know it's backwards. I have the phone face my way because I can't see myself. So, yes, the words is going to be backwards. I apologize until I get more equipment. You know, I'm going to have to use my phone. So, yeah, the words going to be face backwards, and I do apologize by that. But the first product I got, like I said, is the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. And I love this part so much about it. Um, this is something new I've never seen um, brands do this is very unique and I love this about it <clears throat> I love this a lot I would say um, the next uh, so this is the palette that I bought I love this palette so much I love the color coordinations I love everything about it the con about this palette though I will say is these two um, glitter shades right here these two right here I do not like this because these two have a lot of fallout and I would have to wet my brush to even have it to stick and even in that a little bit still a lot well I would say a lot will still fall out <clears throat> so <clears throat> sorry this this is the only two things I do not like about this palette this is the con about the palette but the pros is that I love the color shades. I love, excuse me, the pigment the pigment on them. Like it holds. Like look at that. That is gorgeous. So you can just see right here. You know that right here. It it really have a lot of pigment in that, and it just this that's just beautiful right there. And also um, I like these two. Like these. Uh, sorry these also so-called glitter ones uh this is really good it really do holes it's pigment as well let's swap that for you guys it's really good but like i say these two <clears throat> as you can see like it's it goes good on my hand but when it's time for me to apply it to my you like it it don't fully stay like as you can see it's I don't know how to explain it like it don't really hold as strong like it moves oh, I'm so sorry hold on put this right here it moves around and it don't like stay in place like I will have to like keep moving like if I want to apply it like pat it in it won't stay it just have like a lot of loose glitter and there are eyeshadow palettes out there that have this type of glitter in them but it's a, a a wet like a wet base whatever and it holds without you having having to apply water to your brush before putting before you um 
use that glitter and also use your hands with that glitter to it I mean I guess it works but it don't really stay on and I I think I've worn it before where it will over time it just comes off like I don't know how to explain that but it don't stay on my eyelid long enough unless I use a concealer or water and you know it's I don't want to have a product where I can't use everything in it now that's like I said that's the only con about those are the only two cons about this palette other than that I do love this palette it's very beautiful like I like the new look I like everything about it it's it's gorgeous but I just wish those glitters wouldn't be so much of fallout and I would have to do so much just to use them all right the next thing I have is this Huda Beauty highlighter palette and I do love this palette um this is another thing you know we have that this is very beautiful very unique um and these highlighters I, I love I adore now I was afraid of, I was afraid of Fiji at one point because it is a creamy highlighter and I've never used cream highlighter before I only use like the pressed powder type of highlighters but when I did use this like I fell in love with it just look at it that is gorgeous that's a very gorgeous um, color and when I put it on it is just phenomenal like just look at that it is beautiful and it really distribute all over like just the area that I'm using if I like put it here it really do have like that bling that glow almost like that dewy glow too at the same time like I do love this about that palette about this palette in general but that cream um, high, um, hi highlighter is is really good it have that that glow that dewy glow to you and just look at that if you can see I just apply just a little bit here and just look at that that's like a natural glow right there that is gorgeous and um, another thing I've never ever had a highlighter palette or even a contour palette well I can actually use everything in this palette like I can literally use every shade in this palette and that some that is something I've never had done like I bought something and I can use everything in this so out and get it is worth every cent every dime and you will not be disappointed you will be able to use everything in this palette so go out and check it out it is it is good really good and the next thing is my Fenty Beauty highlighter um, brush and I use this brush with that palette and I love this brush so much everything about Fenty I love I'm so so extremely proud of Rihanna this brush I've used it with that highlighter highlighter palette and I love 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 these this bristle here this is very unique I love the cut about it I love the design I love the packaging it is simple but yet Beautiful. Just look at it. Like I say, yes, the words are backwards, but you know, if you can look past that, we good. But um, this I love this brush. It is worth every penny. I want to try out every um, I want to try out every single brush that she has. It's a bit pricey for me, but um, I do want to invest in it because I love just this brush alone. I love the the. Oh my god, I don't know if this is like real or you know synthetic or whatever, but this this brush head is gorgeous. It's very good. It really do distribute the fun the, um the highlight onto my um cheeks, my cheekbone area very evenly. It doesn't leave streaks. Um it's just all, all around a great product and something that you can invest in and you will not be disappointed in, at all. You will not be disappointed. I can tell you that much for right now. <clears throat> so do go out and get that as well if you do not have it. The next thing I have is actually in this box. It's right here. This, um, 
this product this is a water-based coconut scented um, primer by Too Faced and Too Faced is one of my favorite brands as well as Fenty but the thing with this and, and I don't know don't quote me on but I don't know if it's the foundation that I've wore uh, that I wear I use drugstore foundation so I don't have like the the expensive foundation like any high brand well brand um, known brands out there that is sewn in Sephora or Ulta I don't have like those type of foundation like Too Faced, Huda, Fenty I don't have any of those type of foundation I have the foundation by Maybelline the fits me in the 24 hour wear foundation as well those are two foundations I currently have now and I don't know if it's the foundation that I use but this doesn't really hold as long as I want it to throughout the day um, once I put it once I use it is like I said it's water-based but it doesn't hold my foundation long enough before I start seeing my oils are coming out I have a combination skin oily and as well as dry but mostly um, I, I would say oily due to the fact that it is the summer now so where I live it's a very hot um, it's like that dry heat though it's not that humid the humid heat um, but it is dry heat but I still tend to have a lot of my natural oils come out around this time of season and I feel like this doesn't hold as strong as I want it to. I don't know if it's a foundation. I don't know if it's just my skin or if it's just a product. But I do not want to give up on this just yet. I don't want to write it off just yet. I do want to keep hold of this um, to try out other foundations. If you guys have suggestions, please let me know. I want to try out other foundations. So I don't want to write this off just yet. But I am a smidge disappointed only because... I don't wear it as much as I want to. I was so excited when I bought it, but I don't wear it as much as I want to. If you guys have any suggestions about this type of um, primer or any other foundations that I can wear with this particular primer, please leave your comments down below and I will go check those out in Sephora or even Ulta. And my next product I got is from Fenty Beauty. <clears throat> sorry I love this so much I have the box but I took it out because <clears throat> I don't want to be you know keep digging in the box and open it or, or whatever but this product is so good this is in the cashew um, shade and this I can truly say it does hold fairly well um, before my natural oil starts seeping through. I do love this product. Um, I love the packaging. Anything about Fenty, I love. I am extremely proud of Brianna. You know, she have blossomed into the woman that she is today. Even outside of that, just everything about her makeup brand it is just gold. Um, it does live up to what it says it does. So I don't really have complaints about the products that I've gotten so far, like the brush, this here. Um, I have a couple other things I'm going to show you guys that I have a Fenty, and I do not have complaints about that. I do not, I have not tried out her eyeshadow palettes or her lipsticks. I want to um, just see how those work out for me. I've heard good things, bad things about the eye, eyeshadow um, palettes and stuff, but I want to try them out myself. You know, I just want to go off what people, what people think about it. You know, every to each his own, you know, whatever works for that person works for them. Uh, whatever doesn't work for that person, it just doesn't work. But I want to try it out for myself. But so far, the things that I have bought from Fenty brand, it works very well. And, th and it's just this product itself is just gold. I love the packaging, like I said. Just everything about it is just beautiful. So, yes. The next thing I got is this um, setting powder. Now, this here, Too Faced, um... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they came out with other shade tones too for your complexion. This one is like that pinky look to it. Um, I wish I would have held off of buying this particular one and found the one that's more suitable for my skin complexion because this is a bit bright for me. I wear this as much and that's another thing I do not like 
if I can't use it or if it doesn't work out good for me, then I feel like it's a waste of money and I kind of regret it slash I don't regret it because this is good in the sense of it does hold mm, my um, oils in a way it does in a way it doesn't. Um, the fancy one holds a little longer than this one, but um, I don't know. I don't know if they have any products out there where you, it's like weather resistance in a sense of setting powders, for instance. Um, if they have a setting powder out there where it does, it holds your natural oils and for a long period of time before it's time for you to take it off, whenever you're ready to take it off, it have that, that waterproof, oil proof, whatever proof you got out there that can hold your natural oils because like I said, I'm um, oily skin combination of oily and dry and this doesn't quite last long for me like I wanted to. This is the first setting powder that I've bought before the Fenty one and I like it. I liked it a lot but I don't use it as much. Um, I use the Fenty one more so but I need a setting powder that can do both, you know, make me look good as well as hold my oils in until it's time for me to take it off. Now, with that being said, that is the con of it as well as the color shade for my skin is too bright for me. That's another con. Um, I would have waited, like I said, I should have waited a little longer before I bought this particular one because I did not know they had other ones like how Fenty is. I did not know that they had other shades, you know, for yours, for your exact skin tone. So, um, maybe I'll go out and buy that one and then see how that works out for me. Um, other than that, I don't too much use this one. Next is a Too Faced. Um, mini um, tink, uh, tinkled peach eyeshadow palette and I've you worn this already I've worn this um, in one of my last videos um, go check that out also that uh, Fenty product I, I used in my one of my last video is the um, get ready with me slash Sephora run so go check that video out if you have not already go check it out this eyeshadow palette is gorgeous the packaging the smells the color coordination it is worth every penny i love everything about this the 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 just the pigment on here is good like one swipe and you have your pigment sorry it's almost blending in with my skin complexion i'm gonna try this one out right here see how bright that is you can use this palette, you know, for everything. I honestly feel like you use this palette for everything. Like that right there is a highlighter. You can use this as a highlighter. And it really, you know, set off your makeup. And it really does great um, with any outfit, any going for, whether it's for work, whether it's for going out, whether it's just spending time with your kids, or you're going out shopping. You know, this palette does it all. This is a mini version size. And I do want to invest into the... Um, larger one because I that's why I bought the little one a little one first because I did not know how I would like it at first but I love it so much that I will go out and buy the normal size palette all right next thing I got is the Too Faced mascara this is the original one and I love the packaging on here just look at that the bling on here this is this is just gold right here and this is the mascara the Too Faced um, mascara Be better than sex mascara and the rich this is like I said this is the original one this is how the spooty looks on here and they say the newer one is a bit um, better than this and they say the original one um, they say that is it, I have like it develops a lot of clunks and chunks and stuff on your eyelids. I particularly particular did not um, have that type of problem when it came down to wearing this mascara. I did not have that problem. I heard that people said that it used, like I say, a lot of clunks 
on your eyelids and you um, it just falls off I don't wear too much like thick layers of mascara because I have thin eyelashes and I don't want to break off with the little bit that I do have so I don't use a whole lot of mascara on my eyelids is why I have not seen or experienced th that problem with this foundation um, this mascara but they say the newer one is a bit better because it does not do that. It is waterproof as well. And it the spoolie is a bit thicker than the original one. And it really do um, comb through and separate your eye, eyelashes or even your false lashes that you're wearing. Very, you know, even. The next thing I got, oh, that, that just fell off. Is my Too Faced Lip Scrub. Yes, it's backwards. Um, this is how it looks and it's just made of sugar um oil i don't know what's what actual oil like maybe like um some type of uh, coconut oil maybe i don't know i know some natural oils whatever but it's made of sugar oil and um like some um scents some um, fruity scents which is peach and I like this script lip scrub I don't use too much of it because I don't want to like you know over I don't want to like you know of course and unless I need it is when I use it uh, I don't overly do it just because it's here you know I try to you know let my products last long whenever I need it and this is one of them it's just a lip scrub you could just use it you know have to use it all the time just use it whenever it's necessary nothing too like crazy about it you know it's just a lip scrub you know it's good I feel like any lip scrub would be good. Um, if anyone have any other suggestions out there or any comments about it, leave your comments down below about any type of, you know, very unique lip scrub that I don't know about. But I mean, it's just a lip scrub. It's nothing too, you know, wow about, you know, a lip scrub. But it is good, so. All right, the next thing I have is this hand lotion by Sephora. Let's see if that works. Nope, still backwards. <laughs> but, um, by Sephora, um, the cream I do love. I mean, just a normal hand cream, you know, nothing too crazy about it. Um, it is very good, you know, whenever I just, I'm out and about and I have my purse and my hands get um, dry, um, if I'm out washing my hands after I use the bathroom, whatever, in public, you know, bathrooms, I'll put some hand cream on so my hands can get back that moisture that it just lost. All right, next thing I got is this right here. I don't know why I keep showing you guys because the words are backwards. But um, this is by the brand Milk, and this is the Hydro um, Primer. And this primer here, oh my goodness. I love, 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 love this primer. Now, this primer I got in the small version because I didn't know how it would work, how it would, you know, work out for me because the primer I do have is the Too Faced one and it don't fully hold like I want it to. So when I bought this, I said, you know, I'm going to try it in the small version, in the small, simple size because I just don't want to waste any money. So when I did, you know, try it out, I've used this and it is bomb. Like it is worth every single penny i do not regret purchasing this not one bit because um it does hold and it have like that when i use it it's a little bit funny i have like a little stump size you know just wasting products you know but this have like that nice soft smooth silk type of it's made with gel so it have that really nice smooth tacky feel to it and with that when it's like that i mean it will hold everything that you put on your face in place your foundation to where all that it really holds it and it leaves my skin very smooth too like it smooths out everything so it gets in your pores it does well, in the sense of it goes um, over your pores where your foundation or anything is not just seeping in your pores and when you have especially have like big um, pores you know it doesn't you know hide I mean like get into those crevices and highlight your pores like 
this smooths over your pores so when you put your foundation on you have the smoothest skin so this hydro milk um, primer it is go like go out and get it if you um do not have it and you thinking about getting it get it in the regular size because it is worth it like don't even skip the simple size like so this is really good like just skip past the simple size and go into the normal size the larger size because it is worth it like it really do holds and it holds a long time like with your makeup where like it does it keeps your skin nice and smooth right next is a, this Too Faced liquid it says better than sex liquid easy glide waterproof liner eyeliner this is so worth it i'm actually wearing it now as you can see and i love the spoolie of it i mean this this brush i meant this brush is yes it is great like just look at it hold on one, one second put it right here oh my gosh just look at that and it's waterproof I was wearing this when I was out with my daughters. I went to um, a water, we went to our friend's house and they played in water. And of course, we all played in water and some water got on my face. And I went to, you know, to the bathroom to see, you know, after everything was over with. And I noticed that my my, my um, eyeliner was still on. You know, there, there was no, no um, running of my um, eyeliner. So this really do holds up to what it says, waterproof. And I love the bristles on here, the thin bristle that it really help you create a wing, a cat eye um, look for your eye. Um, the next thing is this Too Faced, um, sorry about the lighting, but the Too Faced lip gloss. This is the Rich Dazzle High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss, and this is in the um, shade uh, Raise the Roof. And this is that right here. This is very, really, really good. I love how it have that glitter look about it. Just look at that. Hold on, real right quick. Just look at that. That is just look. Oh my gosh! And it have I've I've had this um, for quite some time, and I've had worn this, and it still have all that product in this bottle, and it is like just gorgeous the packaging is gorgeous the name of it of it is really good um beautiful i love the name of it and this is by um Too Faced, of course but it's um the line with jordan woods and i want to try out all the other lip glosses that she has um dealing with um Too Faced. i do want to try it out but i do love this this is really really good I like how it just, you know, gloss up my life. All right, next thing is this Too Faced, um, oh, Too Faced Fenty, I'm so sorry. This Fenty Lip Balm, and this is in the shade Fussy. This is the newer one that Rihanna had. She have this one, and then, like, I think of, uh, she have this one, and I think, um, the diamond one, whatever, the, um, uh, white diamond something like that I don't, i'm probably just making up the name but you guys seen that before um as well as the original one and this is the one i got i love this there's no complaints about this lip gloss this lip gloss is just universal um the original one which that i do have is universal as well and it goes good with just anything you want any design i mean design but any look that you're going for and this is worth it this um really do have i like the the spoolie on here it distributes the um products evenly and i do love that about this um it's a lot of product in this bottle so you're not um you have, you have too much to complain about it so you have a pretty good um, amount of product in here um if you're not the type of person that just run through your lip glosses then you will have a problem with this I love it. Um, the next thing, I'm show you the other one first, is the other Fenty one. This is um, the original one called Fenty Glow. So this is the original one. And, you know, that's how it looks. Beautiful. Like I said, it's um, universal. 
they have a lot of product in this bottle i don't run through my lip glosses like that i wear it when i need to or when i'm going out um when i feel like just dressing up and i just want to just put this on or the um fussy one um it it works very good for me i love the scent of both of them it's very fruity so i love any fruity scent so i do love that about this product is uh, my tarte concealer now i'm just gonna get into it i feel like i wasted my money with this product and the reason why i say that um before i go into that this is um 550 h and and it's deep that's what it says so um with this i feel like i waste my money because it doesn't quite do much for me in a sense of i feel like it highlights my bags here like that i might you know go through um like my bags or my my little lines in my eye on my eyelid on my eyes and i feel like it doesn't really you know do good when it comes down to hiding those things in a sense of i keep saying in a sense of but in in a way um it doesn't quite conceal as it's supposed to you know as well it's a i feel like it's a bit of my shade complexion like it's a smidge lighter than my natural my natural shade of complexion but i feel like i could have gone a little bit lighter in this color because i feel like it's kind of close to my skin complexion like i say it's, i mean it's lighter but i feel like it's a bit close to it whereas to when i do put it on and it looks light like it'll go good of course but once i put it on it just almost like it just blends in with my skin and i'm looking for the the concealer and i feel like i'll have to like mix it in with my other concealer that i have by maybelline i feel like with this like it like i don't see i'm not trying to find the concealer and i'm like who are you you know and plus it does it is oily like it it's oily it's thick you know and it's i have to re really keep like dabbing my my beauty blender onto my eyelid uh, under my eyes because it starts to like wrinkled up and it almost like it's doing that um spotting too like it starts to like um after a while like within like two hours maybe um it started to see like i started to see, like my little spots of my you know under my eyes and stuff and i feel like it don't really hold its value you know so i don't know um i don't know maybe if i get i don't know i just, I just don't know i feel like it was like a waste of my money like i would say that grayish look under here and then my um lines start showing more so and i was trying to find a concealer that can just smooth all that out and someone told me that this is great for it but for me you know it wasn't doing the job for me it, it really wasn't and i was just like okay is there some type of concealer out there that that is going to do what i'm looking for in a concealer and i thought this was it but it really isn't so i mean i don't too much i use this because i have to like i literally just use it because i have to but if i had other options i would not use this concealer at all like i would just let it just be great on my vanity or something but other than that i don't really use i use it because i have to go for it now the last thing that i have is this blush by benefit and i love this blush this is very good i don't too much wear it like i want to because it is a bit light for me but at the same time good when i want that type of summer look wait can you see it right i have that type of summer look and you see 
and it's good for that when I just want that natural look, not too glammed up, not too, you know, whatever. Just, I don't know, if I'm just want, want quickly want to go run errands, I could just pop some type of blush onto my lip, onto my cheeks, you know, give some type of color to me. Um, especially if I, if I wash my face or whatever. And I want just a quick run out, not too much foundation, not too much highlighter, just a quick, you know, um, one two step on my face like i would do my eyebrows my eye um eyeliner uh some false lashes and maybe like a little blush if if i have um acting going on maybe like a little bit concealer there and then just some some of this like on as for like some type of color and i just go it's like a quick you know out run out the door type of look for me that is all in this bag here and my last bag is right here and i like i said i recently bought this bag um these things in this bag um like a week ago excuse me um the first thing i did not get from sephora i actually got from walmart but i got this they actually have this in Sephora though too, so this is why I'm even showing you guys because they also have this in Sephora. But I do love this eyelash glue. At first I used to wear just um, hair glue, which is bad for you if you are wearing it. I'm letting you guys know right now, this is that is the reason why I have thin eyelashes because I wore hair glue for my false lashes and it pulled my lashes off. I used to have thick lashes and now i don't too much have them like i mean I, it started it grew you know back but it's not as it used to be so i don't wear hair glue anymore which was bad and i'm embarrassed to even admit to that right now but i did start wearing um eyelash glue i've been wearing this particular eyelash glue for two years this is a really good brand to use for eyelashes. It holds just as strong. This Huda Beauty Setting Spray. And I want to tell you guys about this setting spray. Fun fact of what I learned about this in Sephora, actually. But this setting spray is a mimic of hairspray. And I did not know that. It says Extreme Hold. Now, this I have used and it does spray on like hairspray and it you honestly once you put it on it says you start to feel like it says extra uh, extra hold right extra hold sorry like i don't know why i keep showing you guys this backwards but it's it's extra hold right and it you really do feel that extra hold at first once it start like setting in your skin like on your face it's like that almost that tight feel that you might feel at first, but then it starts like loosen up and it sets your foundation, it sets anything that you have on your face. And the guy told me uh, the, the reason how she got this idea is because drag queens would use hairspray to up, um, set their makeup. And it makes sense. I never thought that, you know, you can use hairspray to set your makeup. And that really blew my mind. You know, guys told me this one holds really good. And I said, well, I don't wear a whole lot of makeup like that. You know, I don't, you know, do too much for my makeup. And he said, it's still good for like, whether you just like casual makeup or even like extreme makeup. And he said, drag queens was use hairspray to set their makeup. And because they would use so much of it and it probably did a lot of activities, you know, runways, all that stuff. Um, and I can see as much makeup that they wear, setting spray will, will probably work best for them. Setting spray that we will wear in our day life probably wouldn't have held all that makeup, especially all that work that they're doing, runways, underneath all that light, sweating, all that, you know, hairspray sounds good. And she got an idea from drag queens so she made her own hair um, setting spray hairspray technically for your makeup and like I say it smells good it have like a, it have scent to it just so you guys know um, if you're not that type of scent person when it comes down to your setting spray this might not be for you but um, it have like a floral ish scent to it um, it's 
you know, smell like a hairspray. Even like the contain, like the way it looks, it's just like a hairspray bottle. You can just like, she really went out and mimicking that and she did very good. I do like this hair, um, setting spray. It's worth it. Um, it really do holds my foundation, my foundation, my makeup throughout the day. And that's what I was looking for, some type of foundation, some type of setting spray that would just hold throughout the day. A dramatic look or a softer look or a natural look, and you just want a setting spray, you can wear this. Like, it, it don't have to be extreme look for you. You can wear this and I do love this. I Next is this by Fenty. This is the last product that I got in my bag, minus some simple perfumes. Um, but this is another thing. And as you guys heard me say previously um, in my early on in my video, I was looking for a primer that will hold um, my foundation, that will, you know, pretty much just do a long lasting of wear with my primers so that my natural oils won't just seep on through within like two, three hours of me wearing it. Due to the weather itself, you know, it might come out quicker. I don't know. But I was definitely looking for some type of primer and I was asking him about it. And he said this Fenty, um, the Fenty Beauty Primer, good for oil, like for oily combination skin or just oily skin, period. Um, it traps the oil oils and it keeps you know you know your oils from coming out um, uh, quicker than I guess than you probably used to due to your own t type of skin. Um, he said that this primer works very well. I said a hush. Yes. Oh, you go. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. No. Go to No. Go to Riley, y'all go. I'm done. Thank you. All right. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Riley, close the door. So yeah, he was telling me that this um, primer is it does hold um, your oils and moves on on top of your pores, smooth over your pores, like the um, milk one, um, the milk primer and that this pretty much does the same thing and it does leave that tacky feel to it too so you know that it's, it's holding your makeup um for a long period of time it's a soft matte so this is like a soft matte type of primer so yes i i, def, I could definitely see them feel the matte feel like once you put it on it starts off like that nice creamy smooth type of feeling and then when it dries up it dries matte oh my gosh it does dry matte so you're going to not only is your makeup as long lasting but it also um if you have that oily skin or just that oily t-zone your foundation all your natural oils will not seep through it just leave it you know matte whatever and it's not it but it's not like too matte for those who do want to wear it or thinking about buying this it's not too too matte where it's like drying. You know, it doesn't dry out your skin like that. It doesn't won't it won't show any like of your dry spots that you might be having those type of problems. It it dries matte, but it's not too too matte if that makes sense. Like it's smooth. It just smooth over your pores. It it's a, all along wear lasting primer. I have worn this so me wearing this i can honestly say it does its job i do not have it on now um but the time i did wear it and i was out all day so on from the time I, we left around 11 and i didn't take off my makeup to almost 11 that night so i, I had that on for uh, uh for almost yeah 12 hours 
So I didn't have, I didn't have, oh, 12 hours I had this primer on and that setting spray. And I, my makeup did not move, it did not shift, it did not do anything and it held everything together until I took it off. So this um, primer from Fenty Beauty, it is worth your pennies and dimes, nickels, dollar bills, hundred bills, like all that. It is worth it because it really do says, it live up to what it says it does. So that is it, you guys. Sorry, those have been a long video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. And I do enjoy my uh, products that I have bought so far. Um, I have like certain ones that I sort of kind of regret getting and other ones that I really do enjoy buying. So I will leave everything in the description bar below of everything I've bought, um, everything I've showed you on this video today. So go ahead and check out those in your local Sephora stores as well as Ulta if you know you can find also in Ulta. Now I'm going to go ahead and end this video. End it, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you guys will be notified of my next upload. And I thank you guys for watching my video. Leave your comments down below and your suggestions on what I've also said today. Um, it is now dark, so I'm going ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you, and have a blessed day.